Welcome back guys. Uh, so I'm here to talk about the yesterday trading session and uh, the trade I took actually what is what was the reason but before going to the market I, I would like to ask you a question did you just watch my daily bias video yesterday I have uploaded uh, before the session if you didn't watch that please go and watch that I told you that what will happen to the PMI session news I told you about this opening gap that price respected over here so my target is it will go to this parallel gap price eventually went over there and I took this entry actually I, I will talk about this entry later I forgot to make a record uh, instead of recording I just you know mistakenly I took a screenshot so I, I'll talk about this trade entry uh, but let me go through all over the news over there uh, so that's all guys uh, let's to go let's go to the chart this is the hourly chart let me go to the one minute chart it will be easier to describe everything so here is the one minute chart if it wasn't the pmi then i would take my entry over here you see this place i would take my entry over there it's because this was the balanced price range so when price rejected over there i i took my entry if it wasn't the pmi news yesterday but at 10 am this candle you see this is the pmi news when it it has released so i didn't take entry over there but when price come here and make this very specific thing you see it has just break the hourly fair value gap then come back to the lowest lower lowest part of the uh, hourly fair value gap and break down again when it happens i was waiting to this candle you see the specifically 1023 candle to touch the lower part of this gap so that i could take my short and the consequent encroachment of this fair value gap would be my you know the target but unfortunately price didn't go to this gap and i didn't take any short so i was waiting to take a buy why it is because i have already missed the chance to take short it has already moved a lot so i was watching every part of the you know the sensitive part like the fair value gap high fair value gap consequent encroachment and fair value gap low is there any sign to take buy price come back and break the high didn't give me any bullish market structure shift so i didn't take entry over there here it has actually breaked the broken the um, consequent encroachment and you know this is not clear market structure shift it's like something going forward and upward you know uh, not clear so i didn't take buy over there at last it has come to this place no market structure shift to the bullish point and finally the lowest fair value gap hourly fair value gap and this is the consequent encroachment of that fair value gap price step to this gap and you see this is the clear market structure shift fair value gap so i took my entry over there unfortunately guys i i forgot to record this video so instead of recording i just took a screenshot so i'm sorry for that but let me just explain what is what is the reason over there uh, so you see my stop loss was over there and my target was over there remember these two level i would like to talk and my entry was just up to this candle i will talk about this now so when price just came to this consequent encroachment this is the hourly fair value gap the lowest hourly fair value gap let me show you the fair value gap actually i am talking about this fair value gap this is the lowest fair value gap you see to this price like this is the lowest fair value gap this is the consequent encroachment i am talking about that so price has already moved so long so i was expecting a retracement and at last price gave me a sign it has just stepped to the consequent encroachment of the hourly fair value gap if you mark it uh, marked it as a 22 yt model i'm really fan of that so this is the sell side liquidity 
market structure shift this is the fair value gap market tap over there and this high also the gap and and this is actually the five minute fair value gap yeah, don't be confused if you go to the five minute chart you'll see this is the five minute fair value gap and at last this was the buy side liquidity the clean highs so price eventually go over there but i was just targeting this high and uh, this fair value gap now let's go to the entry point you remember i took the entry to this candles high because this is the breaker low high low low market uh, just break the high so this turns uh, this high turns into the um, breaker so when this black candle this candle specifically this candle come to this uh, breaker high i took my entry i didn't know where to make a fair value gap and then price step to the fair value gap then it will go higher i didn't wait until that that time i just took entry to this candle and my stop loss just under the breaker so the breaker you see i didn't uh, put my stop loss over there or over uh, sorry under the swing low or the this swing low the lowest low i just put my stop loss under the breaker believing in breaker that price won't break this breaker and price actually came to the consequent encroachment of this breaker or you can say the, mid, uh, the middle of this breaker and finally went over there so that was my trade yesterday i took uh, though my bias was bearish i took this um, you know the long trade as i missed my short entry over there i really wanted price will tap to this low and uh, unfortunately it didn't give me the chance so the main theme of this video is guys if you know what is your bias and if you have marked all the you know the sensitive level on your chart then you can take long trade in your bias day uh, bearish bias day so my bias was bearish but i took this long with confident it's because i had marked this level to my chart the consequent encroachment and when i see this consequent encroachment uh, supported the price and gave me the clear setup i took my buy over there so that's all guys i think it will help you and please if you didn't watch my bias video i have uploaded yesterday please 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 guys please just watch that i described everything what can happen to that day yesterday before the session so you have to do that before the session every day otherwise you can't be a consistent profitable trader so being a consistent profitable trader you have to do or doing something that is called framework you can say framework so please guys uh, i hope everything is everything will be fine today and i will try to upload a video about today's bias as well um, i'm sick actually yesterday suddenly i feel pain to my nose and i didn't sleep the whole night uh, the pain was very you know dangerous i didn't i couldn't sleep so i don't know I, it's not a promise that i will upload a daily bias daily bias video to today but i'll try guys so thanks thanks again and uh, really thank you please subscribe to my channel and uh, share like something i am not uh, you know i don't know anything about youtube i just up open the channel channel and i'm trying to share everything to my channel so that you guys can understand what i know i would like to share to all of you guys if you if one of you just try to understand i'll be you know i'll be i'll i'll feel very glad i'll feel very glad to you guys i, I don't know how to say this but i really would like to share everything i know and i understand about this icit concepts so thank you guys see you again bye bye